In this video, we will look at the TEOAE test on the Otoport Advance. In order to give the best overview of the test procedure, the protocol we will use shows the maximum number of functions. A much simpler version of the test is available in the TE screening protocol. This test protocol uses a click stimulus of 84 dB peak equivalent SPL. The TEOAE test screen provides two options, quick and select. Quick runs the TEOAE test followed by the entry of the patient details providing for immediate testing. Pressing select brings up the patient screen. Here we may choose to test a new patient or the previous patient by choosing same as last. These are the most common choices. The other choices, history of last, find patient, and work list can also be used to provide patient data. Work list is a very powerful tool for downloading patient demographic data from a computer. Selecting a new patient brings up the Enter Details screen. The Otoport automatically provides a unique ID and auto as the family name if patient data has not been provided. Patient data can also be scanned from this screen using the optional scanning features of the Otoport. Selecting Test will bring us to the TEOAE Test Selection screen. For this demonstration, we will select the TEOAE1 protocol. Pressing Select brings up the Check Fit screen. The CheckFit screen is used to assess the testing environment before starting the test. CheckFit shows ear canal size on the left, the stimulus level in the ear canal in the center, and on the right, the noise bar and noise reject level indicators. Rejection of noisy samples is indicated in red on the noise bar. When CheckFit shows the proper stimulus level and sufficiently low noise, testing may begin. CheckFit will attempt to adjust the TE stimulus level in the ear canal. When the stimulus reaches the preset level, the test can begin automatically or by selecting Start depending on the test settings. When a signal-to-noise ratio of 6 dB is reached for any frequency band, a check mark appears above that band. When a sufficient number of points have met the required criteria, the test is stopped automatically or manually by selecting End. When the test ends, a graphic result screen appears, in this case a check mark indicating that criteria have been met. Pressing OK brings up the next test screen showing the result banner at the top and the half octave histogram. Save allows us to choose the appropriate ear with the left right arrow keys. Selecting Save again saves the test. Once saved, the test may be printed by selecting Print. If another test is to be performed on the same patient, retest may be selected and the same demographic data will be used when the test is saved. Testing may be ended by selecting Finish, which returns us to the TE test screen.